good morning what's going on everybody today we are doing about 13 miles out on the race course that we will be doing in just two weeks time a half marathon um taking it nice and easy today uh still kind of waiting out and recovering from i think what we'll call like something a strained muscle or possibly a bruised rib i don't really know but i got some x-rays done everything looked fine um so yeah now it's just managing that <clears throat> but we still gotta run so as you might be able to hear metronome's going we are at uh, a 175 cadence for today uh, hoping to stick to it and hoping that that keeps my strides nice and small quick turnovers that we can just enjoy today um it is pretty warm humidity is definitely high um so got got some water got some uh, extra gels if needed um i mean only three if need be but like we'll see we'll go mile by mile but yeah join me on a nice 13 miler through umstead state park it's a beautiful day and hopefully it feels good <laughs> all right i'll film a bit and we'll check in later Seven miles in, feeling the rib, trying to keep the cadence. Beautiful day. Almost to the lake. It's a cool spot. Basically, the beginning of the big climb. on cadence uphills are gonna be pretty slow but I think I should be able to stick to the cadence 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 oh yeah nine minutes nine miles in taking it easy definitely heating up but yeah, feeling good definitely feeling my rib there's nine minutes keep on trucking So 13 miles across Umstead State Park, about 10.43 average mile pace, about 780 feet of elevation gain, two hours and 20 minutes total moving time and an average heart rate of around 157. Great workout, still counts as a long run for me while I'm dealing with a little bit of a side pain issue. We're gonna call it a muscle strain based on the x-rays coming back all clean. So yeah, very positive workout for me. It's my second time getting out there and doing the full course for my upcoming race. So it's always good to get out there, see what you're gonna be into. You get to check in on how much tree coverage there is, the hills, uh, you know, obviously the uphills, downhills. I know where they're gonna be at and I'm just about as prepared as you can be. Obviously it's great that it's a local race so I can go do this, but being prepared for these, uh, you, you gotta pull all the strings out. So being able to get out there twice now is Really, really cool. The one statistic that I haven't talked about yet is cadence, and that was kind of my focus during this run. I turned on the metronome um, uh, accessory on the Garmin 4Runner 245. It was set to 175 cadence, making a beep every other uh, count, uh, I'll call it. That was not a good representation, 175, but you get the idea. Every other beat, I was getting a beep. That's a better way to put it. But 
My average cadence, according to Strava, ended up being 167 with a max out at 180. You know, while I was initially like, what's the deal here? I was literally listening to a metronome at 175, where I felt like I was pretty spot on. I would lose it like every minute or two, but I never felt like I was straying too far and would quickly jump back into that 175. But going at that slower pace, and also uh, one person in the comments on Instagram pointed out that in Garmin, you can also check your stride length. I won't take too much from that because you know it's just a watch, so I don't really know how it's getting all this information. Maybe I need to look more into uh, how Garmin does get its statistics, but basically based on stride length and my pacing, it would have been really hard for me to actually hit that 175. So the 167 with a max out at 180 ultimately is pretty good for me. I mean, I gradually, you know, six, seven months ago, I was coming from a cadence that was hanging out in like mid 150s to high 150s. So the fact that, you know, I'm doing a pretty slow run, averaging about 167 cadence is still pretty good for me. So while I was initially kind of upset with that number, it's a positive. It's definitely a good indicator of being conscious and aware of my cadence and that turnover. And ultimately, you know, the goal here is to not be reaching. That's something that I noticed in my 5K, my recent 5K test run. I did the Sir Walter pop-up miler. I'll link that video above. Basically, one concern coming out of that was overreaching um, and just, you know, making myself do even more work by countering my momentum. All that being said, higher cadence, shorter strides, hopefully not reaching and thus hopefully relieving some of my concerns in that department. And finally, quick before I let you go, I will just give you an update. Uh, I did mention it earlier in the video. I did go and get some x-rays. I was having kind of a, a shooting pain in my side right over my ribs. Wasn't sure what was going on. I did take a couple tumbles at pick up soccer about 10, 15 days ago, about a week and a half ago. And I was starting to connect the dots on, you know, I am 30 now. I did take some good hits to the ground. Uh, maybe I could have, you know, bruised a, bruised a rib. Hopefully not actually fractured a rib or anything. And the x-rays cleared all suspicions there, which leaves the most likely culprit a strained muscle that overlaps my ribs slash on my side. So obviously like when taking deep breaths, that's gonna kind of agitate that torso twisting kind of agitates it. But things have A uh, on the, First of all, they've gotten better with the amount of time that has passed. Obviously, this 13 miler was kind of pushing it a little bit. I definitely irritated it, but overall, it has gotten a lot better. And even these last couple of days now, I think it's definitely gone down quite a bit. I've been taking a lot of kind of ibuprofen, minimal stretching, icing feels good. Heat does a little bit, I think, in terms of just generating like movement, I guess, and things around it. But I think the ice overall feels pretty good. So A-OK, -okay, um, recovering from that. Uh, obviously we got the race coming up, so we're gonna try to recover, get a last couple handful of runs in beforehand, safely race, but safely push it on race day, and then we will fully recover and hopefully get everything back to that equilibrium homeostasis. But with that all spit out of my mouth, hopefully you enjoyed the video please consider liking, commenting, or subscribing. And if you wanna to add to the conversation, you know where to do it. Drop your ideas, your comments in the comments. Yes, that's right. Um, and with that being said, uh, uh, stay safe out there, enjoy yourselves, enjoy the runs, and I will uh, see you in the next one. Peace guys. I just want you to know that this is a uh, authenticated third kit of my gunners who are bravely battling a bunch of youngsters for fourth place against they who we shall you'll not name the bad guys basically let's be real um yeah 